Well, hello and welcome along to a very special edition of Chasing the Dollar here on The Dogs TV. And we are here to announce the three nominees of the 2012 Betfair Greyhound of the Year. The judges have all cast their votes. They've come up with the final three. Jeff Collison, Greyhound Racing legend reporter, is uh, one of those who is in the room who cast his vote. Jeff, you weren't in there for very long. Fair to say that these three ended up being a fair way ahead of the rest of the field. I, I, well, I've, uh, since 1965, when this award was inaugurated, I've never seen a year where three greyhounds just jumped out, literally jumped out at us. And I think everyone agreed that there were three obvious contenders. And uh, can I say who they are? Yeah, well, we'll go through them one All by right. one, and we'll go in alphabetical order, so as to not to say who we might think will win the whole yeah, thing. No. But if you want to tell us who the first of them is, Jeff. Well, Bye Bye Bucks uh, is, is a finalist. Uh, he won 11 of his 27 Wentworth Park races for Ken Lewis. Um, he ran 29.73 at Wendy, that was his personal best. Was third in the group one, Peter Mossman. Won a couple of group twos, the Dapto Megastar and the Blacktop. And was also fourth in the Bob Payne Memorial, another group two at Wentworth Park. Won 16 of 34 overall. A yep. marvellous campaigner. Bye bye Bucks, that record at Wentworth Park is really one of the standout figures that we just had a look at there. 11 from 27 was just a, a master at Wentworth Park. Well, a great dog at Wentworth Park and, and came from a lot of bad boxes, Ben. Was never beaten off box one. Didn't draw it all that often, but was never beaten off box one. And overall, his record in 2012 was 34 starts for 16 wins, nearly a 50% strike rate on all tracks. Uh, and, and he raced throughout the year. Wonderful dog. All right, Jeff. Well, you gave us the first of the nominees for the 2012 Betfair Greyhounds of the Year. Give us the second. He knows you know. Uh, probably no surprise uh, there either. Uh, Mick Patterson from Iluka, former uh, prawn fisherman. Uh, what a wonderful campaigner. Far and away the best New South Wales based stayer of the year. Won three out of nine at Wentworth Park, but he did win 13 from 30 overall and the Brisbane Gold Cup, a Group 1 win. Yeah, he was certainly an outstanding greyhound through the course of that season. He knows you know he is the second of our nominees for the Betfair 2012 Greyhound of the Year and the third of them, Jeff. Was Oaks Road, uh, 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 who won five from six at Wendy. Did a lot of interstate racing, won the Perth Cup at Group 1. Uh, ran, uh, was fourth in the Temerley, fourth in the Australian Cup. 7th in the National Sprint, all Group 1 finals, and won a couple of Group 2s, the Bob Payne Memorial and the Maitland Gold Cup, and ran 29.64 at Wentworth Park. He was the fastest Wentworth Park winner among the dozen greyhounds that were up for consideration. Yeah, most certainly a Group 1 win in a couple of Group 2s. It's a very handy season, isn't it? Yes, he had a great a great season, and uh, of course he's now at stud. He knows you know and Bye Bye Bucks, still racing. And as mentioned at the start of the program, it was very, very quick. We were only in there, well, the judges were only in there. I was just observing, but Jeff, only in there for five or 10 minutes or something. Yeah, and maybe. I guess you all knew when you arrived who you thought. Well, maybe, uh, yeah, I, 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 well, I don't know how everyone voted. So I, I doubt that it was unanimous, but uh, we were certainly unanimous about the three finalists. And um, the winner will be a nice surprise on uh, on the night of the dinner at the town hall. It most certainly will, and I think um, that of the of the rest of them that haven't made this three nominees, probably Ritzer Ryder, would you say, was was the one that was just he was probably uh, he was probably fourth pick, I guess. Yep. The other ones up for consideration were Dinkum in Trust, Midnight Capers, Mine's a Red One, Prince Diablo, sure as to fire and transcend time. But uh, there was there was uh, one of the panelists was uh, a bit of a fan of Ritzer Ryder, but eventually we were unanimous that these were the three finalists. All right, and now we wait because it is, well, it's just around the corner of the start of March at the Sydney Town Hall. It'll be a special night, and to win this award for trainers and connections of these greyhounds would be a, a spectacular achievement. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's something that uh, I know every owner and trainer uh, really uh, wants to win very, very badly, almost as much as a Group 1 win. Uh, and it hasn't got the, the monetary, the uh, instant monetary value, but for a male dog especially, it's got great uh, potential for stud earnings. All right, well, Jeff, thanks so much for thanks, joining ben. us. And thank you for joining us on this special edition of Chasing the Dollar. We'll go through the three again. They are Bye Bye Bucks, He Knows You Know, and Oaks Road, the three nominees for the 2012 Net Bad Greyhound Dogs.